Now today on Stitches TV, I'm going to show you how to sew those zigzag flounce seams from our previous video of how to drape the pattern for the flounce bodice. Now we started with a plain bodice block. We drew out our design, created flounce. I showed you how to make it into a pattern which then becomes this. But as I said today, we're going to focus on the zigzaggy part. Those tricky zigzag seams. Now we got to this stage in the previous video where we made a pattern from that flounce bodice. We laid it on top of some calico with a centimetre seam allowance traced around and cut it out. Now we're going to focus just a little bit on the curved seams. Now where we chopped up our flounce because you, you couldn't have it as one flat piece, you now need to join all those bits together. So hopefully you marked those out correctly with a little notch and then you're going to sew, sew them together so it looks like this. So that's just one of them and you're going to do it to all of your flouncy pieces where you had to join them. Now even though I said we're going to do the zigzag bits, I'll quickly show you how to do a curved seam. So the concave bit of your curved seam, once you've lined up your notches, which are so important, you do these little snips in only up to your seam allowance. And then you line up your main center notch that's on your curved seam and you kind of splay out all those notches so it goes flat, but you don't want any creases in there. And then when you sew it, you sew it exactly on the line that you would have drawn out. Exactly, exactly. Right, when you've done all your curved seams, which are mainly on the front, we're now going to focus on the zigzag seams. And to begin with, we're going to focus on E and F, the lines E and F. So here they are. And I want you to pay big attention to those dots. Because those dots, when you put your fabric right sides together, you sew along the line, you start at that dot, and you finish at that dot. And you don't go over it. It's really, really important. So it looks like this. Look how I've stuck exactly on the line. I made up. I made sure my little F notch lined up, kept going all the way to the end, but I did not go over that dot. That's mega important. Then you flip it over and in the well of your V, you do a snip, flop over your work and then start lining up the other side. Now this has a bit of a flounce in it, so you're going to have to snip into that curvy bit and make it a straight line. So you stitch along there, make sure that notch lines up. And you'll see it has to be bent, but you will have snipped in so it'll be easy. Stitching exactly on that line. And it will look like this. Now the way that you press your seams is also very important. Now we're going to deal with the next line of our zigzag. So look, I'm cutting right up but not over that dot and that's in the well of your V. Then you're going to plop your work out, flip it over and do the same thing again. Make it all nice and flat. Make sure your middle, so I think this is G we're working on, make sure the, the, the middle notch lines up and the end notch. Can you see that there? That's the one that we're working on, G. And when it's done, it looks like this. Sorry about the shadow of the camera. But look how neat those corners are and also the way that I've pressed the seams. As you can see here, see how they're not, they're sort of pressing in opposite ways so they lay nice and flat. Now we've got one more bit to do there. And when you've done that, which is your last seam, 
when you've put everything all together, it will look like this, which I think is quite nice. Now, hopefully this is an inspiration for you to go and fiddle around with your existing patterns and create weird seams and flounces. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. You might find this video handy to watch. It's got lots of curved seams. And you must watch that video. Bye.